First fee is in from Julian Bruno and then did Toby Moreland knock it forward. The crowd thought so. Not sure how they can see from up there. That was very tight. Nothing doing from Alan Roland. It's there for the scrum half again. Quinlan comes in. Niall Ronan. Dennis Leamy over it. Now the hooker again. Damien Farley with a good strength. Up against two strong men in Easterby and Deacon Manu as well. Now the skip out pass. And in goes Dennis Hurley. He almost had a try a couple of minutes ago. And now after a very, very long wait for his first ever competitive try. Dennis Hurley has it for Munster. And they're in the lead now at Parky Scarlet. Easterby now from deep Lamont. Steps on the gas, now he needs support, and he's got it. Jonathan Davies has got real pace as well. Barry Murphy comes back to make the tackle. He's to be the Deacon Munner. They're going all the way. And the prop is in for the try. Superb stuff from the Scarlets. Great pace initially from Lamont. He couldn't get there on his own. Jonathan Davies couldn't either, nor could Easterby. They needed support. It came in the shape of Deacon Manu, and the Scarlets have scored a superb try. Yeah, a magnificent try. And again, it's Sean Lamont walking off his own wing, uh, coming across to the far side. Great offload. Jonathan Davis has really been impressive here tonight. Simon Easterby has been involved in the move twice, up in support. Uh, Deacon Manu, I think, would be quite pleased. He'd only about seven or eight yards to run, but it's a, a superb try. It's Back nine, behind. Roberts to Priestland Gareth Maul and again it's a really good offload great awareness got his hands free and found Evans and then it's recycled Jonathan Davies to Sean Lamont Stay. close to touch but they remain in field Daffy Jones now options left and right they come this way on the crash ball and good defence Bruno going in with Tommy O'Donnell as well Back it goes from Priestland, charging for the line almost. Jones on the secondary push, does he get there? Very close to the line, and there's the decision from Alain Roland. I'm pretty sure it was the Scarlets captain in there, Mark Jones. It is a turnover. It was legal, said Alain Roland. Howlett just lost his footing again. Vernon Cooper came in to make the tackle. Now is there space? Hurley running strong, straight and hard. Hurley running all the way and Hurley's in for a second try and you just knew that Munster had something left in the tank Dennis Hurley hadn't scored before tonight he's got the first try and he may have the last try and he may not have scored a more important one because that is crucial and it hands the chance for Munster to come away with a win well he's had an outstanding game really uh there was enough scarlet defenders there but he's very strong upper body manages to stay on his feet he has very few options there and uh, Gareth Maul the debutant who's done so well tonight uh, hardly managing to push him off and both are driving through Boss switches back to that left side Nagusa stepping away from tackles across the 22 fine effort mid Ulster still have again a little bit awkwardly back from Boss was he infringed before he got the pass away looked like his arm was being held Ulster somehow retained possession. Good pressure in defence from Edinburgh all the time. Ulster tried to move the ball wide this time. Darren Cave dances down the sideline. Big tackles coming in to Whitten. The ball is inside. Is it going to be another try? Shabkowski gets the ball down. Try number two from Ulster. We love to see that one again in really slow motion. It's bobbled around. But Darren Cave and Ian Whitten did brilliantly in the centre. It looked like Cave was going to be driven across the touchline. But somehow his strength kept him in, Whitten in support. And the Lions centre was at the heart of the game's first score, running an excellent line. He found Chris Chekai on his shoulder, who in turn passed to Ben Blair on the outside for the opening try. Michael Bradley's men put Cardiff under sustained pressure and scored a well-deserved try after Gavin Duffy hacked through for Fionn Carr. Carr showing great composure to chip ahead for his own touchdown, putting Connacht right back in the hunt.